In this video, I will show you how you can connect a Softube Console 1 fader with Cubase and use it to mix Cubase, channels in Cubase. Let us start. You know that I made several videos before this video. Uh, I like to use controllers. So what I did before, I made video uh, how to use fader port, how to use Mackie, and I made video how to use, in front of me, there is an Ovation MIDI controller as well you can use with Cubase. A uh, difference between those and uh, this fader port is uh, in, in a way how do we set up and make connection. In all previous versions, we have to go to studio, we have to go to studio setup, and then we have to go to uh, a, a remote device and then add device and we will find, for example, Mackie, or whatever is connection, Novation, Automap, or if, if, if we have fader port, you'll find all them here and then you will do setup here. Now that is not case with Softube. With Softube, you have to install plugins, VST plugins, and you have to put every, every in every track plugin if you want to control that track. So in insert, for each of those tracks that you want, I want to control, I have to insert plugin. Usually I put it in first row, then I know that I have all controls for, for uh, those channels that I want to control. Uh, you can insert them one by one. If you click there on insert and don't go under soft tube console, it is not plugin. You have to go under dynamics and you can see those three lines. That means it is VST3 plugin and you will click to console. And now you can insert plugin of the console in this spot. But if you want to insert a right away plugin in every channel that you want to have that plugin, then there is shortcut. I will say here no effect. And now I will press on first channel where, where I want to insert plugin, then hold shift, last channel. So when I highlight them, now I will press to, press to shift, and all, hold it, and then go to the first row on first channel, and then go to dynamics, and then go to console one, release, wait for a moment, and you will see what is going to happen. You will have control in each 12 channels, and you will see movement on fader port. Now close this. Okay, now I will show you just basic functionality and I have to make actually another video to show you every function that we can find on this. I want to make this video very short, so just connection and show you some basic functionality. What is good here? Whenever we ch choose any of those tracks by clicking with mouse here, automatically we will see here LED lamp and that is that track. So that track is actually this track. When we press here, you can see moments on Cubase. You can see which track I'm controlling. So that is first 10 tracks. And then what is good, when I click here, I will go to the next group of the 10 tracks. Ten, uh, that is track number 11. And then next, next. So what is good here, whenever I click to the track in Cubase with mouse, automatically it will update console and it will show which track uh, is selected. Easy job. And now I can mute the track solo. Actually, I can mute it. I can mix it. Actually, this is that track here. Pattern. It is uh, LED light and then right from the LED light, it is that track. Now, if I want to control uh, insert effect for track, for example, this track here has insert effect. Now, I will just press here insert effect. And then if I go here, I am controlling insert effect. Very interesting. Uh, with this one, I can control pan. And on very quick way, fast way, I can have controls of everything. So why did I buy uh, a console fader? I like to have motorized faders. All my controls I can have on my Novation and all controls are to the point 
and I can see them very, very well on very clear uh, window. And I can control plugins from Novation. Or if I want to buy fader port, uh, just fader port. Uh, uh, actually, if I want to buy console one, then I can use console one to control plugins. But this one, fader, I bought because I like to have motorized faders and I like to be to the point. I like to see what is going on. And I like to close my eyes and to do mixing. And look at that, I can do that mixing with all my faders. And what else is very important here, whenever I go to the next bank, I have next group of the 10 uh, faders. In previous uh, controllers that I had pre previously, when you move, you just move for one fader and then again for one fader with Mackie or, uh, uh, or uh, fader port. But with this guy, I like to do that on this way. I like to move 10, then group of the 10 next faders, then next 10 faders, so. And whenever, as I mentioned, whenever I click here, so it is in that first group of the 10 faders, if I go, for example, here, now I'm in next group, and it is automatically showing me which fader is that, and now I can see what is going on here around of, the, of, those, tra uh, of those tracks. So there is a lot of nice things about uh, this uh, a console one and I will make one video, it is going to be a little bit longer, with all explanation about this great, great, great controller. It's well made, looks nice on my table, professionally, good feeling and it will uh, do my job, I will go to the point. See you in my next video. And thank you very much for watching this video.